Hello to all grade 8 students. This is Senior Pablo and welcome to our lesson 12. Domain of Rational Expressions. Before watching this video, please make sure that you watch our tutorial video in Introduction to Rational Expressions. I will put it in our cart. Just link, just click our cart. Then it will direct you in that video. Let's start. First, let us define what is domain of rational expression. It is the set of all real numbers that define the fraction. In our introduction of rational expression, we have those numbers that does not satisfy our conditions in rational expression. That will make the expression undefined. So we're going to find those restricted values for our rational expressions. To further understand, let's have our first example. Number one. Let's say 2x over x plus 3. We're going to find the restricted value. Our first step is focus on the denominator. So the denominator is x plus 3, then equate to 0. Equate to 0 equals 0. Next, solve for x. So x is equal to transpose positive 3. That will become negative 3. So our restricted value now is negative 3. So for our final answer, our domain is x such that x is not equal to negative 3. Okay. Because if x is negative 3, that will make our expression undefined. So let us write this all. So it will become 2 times x is negative 3 over negative 3 plus 3. You substitute the value of x. So this will become negative 6 over 0. And if our denominator is 0, that will not define our rational expression. That will make our expression undefined. Understood? Okay. Let's try our example number two. Let's have x squared minus 5 all over x squared plus 4x. Okay. First step, copy the denominator x squared plus 4, x, then equate to 0, is equal to 0. And now, solve for x. Solve for x, focus on our denominator. Find the factor. So let us use the greatest common factor. Again, to understand our rational expression, you need to master all our factoring techniques. The greatest common factor, difference of three squares, perfect square trinomials, and the general trinomials. So common factor is x, then x squared divided by x, that is x, plus 4x divided by x, is equal to zero. Let us check. X times X, that is X squared. 
x times positive 4, that is positive 4x. Now, equate to 0. So, this will become x is equal to 0. And the other factor is x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, solve for x. x is equal to negative 4. The restricted values now are negative 4 and 0. So let us write our domain. x such that x is not equal to 0 and negative 4. Understood? Now our third example. m plus 5 over m squared minus m minus 12. If you want to try number 3, you can pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your work. Okay, let's check number 3. Copy the denominator, m squared minus m minus 12, then equate to 0. Now, solve for m. This is a general trinomial. To solve for m, let us find the factors first. So our factors are, so m, m. Factors of negative 12, that is the sum is negative 1. So 4 times 3. So 4 times 3, 12. Now focus on the sign. 1 negative and 1 positive. So, negative 4 and positive 3. Positive 3. So, let us check. Negative 4 times positive 3, that is negative 12. Negative 4 plus 3, that is negative 1. Now, equate to 0. m minus 4 is equal to 0 and m plus 3 is equal to 0. Then solve the values for m. Transpose, that will become m is equal to positive 4 and m is equal to negative 3. This is now our restricted values. So to write our domain, this is m such that m is not equal to 4 and negative 3. Because if m is 4 and negative 3, the expression will become undefined. Let's try our last example. Number 4. 5 over m minus 16. Okay, m squared minus 16. If you want to try number 4, you can pause the video. And after answering, you can resume watching to check your work. Now let's check number 4. Copy our denominator, m squared minus 16 equate to 0. And then, find the factors, difference of two squares. So that is m plus 4, m minus 4 is equal to 0. And now, solve for m. 
m plus 4 is equal to 0, m minus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose, m is equal to negative 4, and m is equal to positive 4, our restricted values. Then, writing our domain, x such, oh, sorry, our variable is m, so we're going to use m. m such that m is not equal to positive to negative 4. Because if our m is positive or negative 4, that will make our expression undefined. So that is on how to find the domain of rational expressions. If you have questions, just drop it in our comment sections. I will be happy to answer your questions and inquiries. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please share this to your classmates. And do not forget to subscribe. Click our notification bell in order for you to be updated in our upcoming videos.